Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because we are going to talk about one of my favourite aspects of wrestling and that is championship belts. Uh, we're going to talk about toy belts. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because this is a video I've wanted to make for quite a while um, and it's taken quite a bit of research. I wanted to find out like what was the earliest toy belt. I wanted to find out what did Hasbro make, what was Jack's making, what can you get now. Uh, so I've got loads of information. I've got loads of weird items to show you as well. Um, and I am a big fan of kids toy belts. I had quite a few when I was a kid. Uh, I've even got one now uh, up here in the background. The United Kingdom Championship. That is a toy belt actually signed by Tyler Bates, the very first United Kingdom champion. So uh, a lot of you out there might be collecting uh, the kids' belts. Of course, Mattel have come out with a lot in recent years. Um, I think like you can get pretty much all the championships at the moment. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. But rather than looking at what you can get now, let's start by going all the way back to the very earliest WWE toy belt. And that was this. This is the first one I can find. This is the LJN mid to late 1980s Hogan 85 belt. Uh, and what makes this so cool is there's a little slider on the front plate. Uh, and when you move it, it actually changes the picture that's on the front plate. So you can see here, that is what the Hogan 85 belt looked like. Uh, it's called the Hogan 85 because Hulk Hogan was the champion. And this is what the championship looked like in 1985. What I'm really confused about, though, is when you actually slide it, you get a picture of Hulk Hogan, but that's not the 1985 belt that he's got. That's the 1984 belt. Why haven't they put a picture of Hulk Hogan with the 85 belt that this is based on? Like, that, it would make more sense. Surely it would make more sense. Um, but yeah, look, just a small little detail, uh, and this thing has got loads of little details, uh, on the side plates, it's got all the former champions, so the likes of Bruno San Martino gets mentioned, the likes of Bob Backlund, Pedro Morales, blah, 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 it's a fantastic item, it's a rare item, uh, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money if you wanna get one of these, uh, I know they were selling for, like, hundreds of dollars, um, and I actually can't find one uh, to tell you how much they're selling for right now. So, yeah, if you've got one of these, you've got something very special. Just a couple of years later, we would start to get foam belts, foam kid belts. Uh, and these, I remember three of them. There was a tag team one, an intercontinental one, and a WWE Championship one. And I think what's really interesting about these is I think the tag team and the IC belts look really good. Um, but that main title, it looks nothing like the Winged Eagle. And that's what the title was when this came out. This came out in 1988. The Winged Eagle uh, would have been the world title at that time. This looks nothing like it. And that honestly did not resonate with me when I was a kid. Like, I never even thought about the fact that this looks nothing like it. Um, I honestly think this one is based on the Hogan 86 from a few years earlier. Um, and uh, even then, you can see on screen, this is the kids' belt. This is the Hogan 86. You can see there's big, big differences between the two. So, yeah, just quite interesting to go back and look at it now uh, and just see that it's actually not an exact replica of any of the titles. Just a few years later, Hasbro would finally give us a Winged Eagle Championship toy belt. Uh, comes in a really cool looking box. It's got Ultimate Warrior on the front. Uh, of course, in 1990, Ultimate Warrior would have been the WWF champion. Uh, so yeah, very cool. And in the years that followed, uh, we pretty much got all of the major titles. Um, you've got things like the Women's Championship. Honestly, I, I want to mention this on its own because this is a 
kids belt I didn't know had ever been made. But I found this picture of it and now I really want one. I really want one because uh, Alondra Blaze had this title. This is the title she threw in the trash uh, over on WCW. Um, or this is a kid's version of it. Uh, and I just think it looks really cool. Um, but they've made loads. They made the big eagle, the winged eagle. Uh, they've made the light heavyweight championship, the ECW championship, uh, the European championship, the hardcore championship. Uh, you can get the like, million dollar championship, the cruiserweight championship, undisputed championship, uh, the oval intercontinental championship as well. Um, obviously, they did the SmackDown tag title and the Raw tag title. Um, they did loads. They did pretty much all of the championships you can get as kids' toy belts. And what's really great is that Mattel have continued with that. So even going forward, as new titles emerge, uh, you tend to get them made as kids' belts. But we're not going to focus on every kid's belt that's been made uh, because we would be here a while. Um, we're going to focus on a few of the weird ones. Uh, so let's take a look at these. Uh, these are kid's belts for Stone Cold Steve Austin titles. Now, Stone Cold did make his own championship. He made the Smoking School Championship. That's the one on the left. But the one on the right uh, is one that has just been completely made up. That is the Texas Rattlesnake Championship. I believe this was just made by someone that works at Jack's for no reason whatsoever. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think it looks really cool. Uh, we've spoke about it in previous videos. It's got the um, 316 on there. It's got the Rattlesnake on there. It's, it's, it's cool. I'm really into it. It's got schools on it as well. Um, but yeah, it's just this is not a, a championship that was ever made or was ever planned. Uh, this is just something that Jax came out with. Um, and then the same with The Rock. The Rock had his own championship. Uh, I don't think we ever really saw it on TV, uh, but it was called the Brahma Bull Championship. You can get a kid's belt of that. That is the one on the left. And then again, the one on the right, someone at Jax just like, yeah, let's make something up. Uh, and so that's what they did. Um, that ball is actually sticking out like it's a 3D uh, kind of on the faceplate. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but it's very cool. Um, and I think I actually have that belt buried in an attic somewhere. It was called a grapple belt. Uh, so they made those two, but there was a third. And here it is. The Undertaker, the Undertaker gets his own uh, kids toy belt. Again, this was never made. This is not a belt that exists. Well, this was, um, but uh, this is just a kids belt. Uh, it was never a real title. The Undertaker never had uh, this in his possession. Um, so, yeah, kind of cool. I understand why they made them. Um, I think if you're a kid and you're really into The Undertaker... Uh, I think you're going to love that championship belt. Uh, I mean, I'm an adult and I'm into The Undertaker and I love that championship belt. <laughs> One of the more interesting titles has come from Mattel uh, just a few years back. Uh, and this is it. You can see it is called the Electrovision Championship belt. It's based on the John Cena spinner title. Um, and what's really cool is the center plate has got loads of LED lights in it. Uh, it means that you can display loads of different animations uh, and it plays entrance music as well. Uh, you can see some images on screen right now. This footage uh, comes courtesy of the Pixel Dan YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think there's like six different superstars that it'll do uh, little entrance things for. Uh, and as I say, you can just see a couple on screen now. Uh, next up, Mattel made this Make Your Own Championship set. Uh, I think it came with a foam strap. Uh, there was glitter in there. There was gemstones. There were stickers. Loads of different things that you could use to make your own championship. Moving on, though, this might be the worst title I've ever seen. I know this only came out very recently as well, which 
uh, I think is why it's extra awful, because uh, you'd expect better in this modern age. Um, I don't know who makes this. I'm going to blame Mattel, but I don't know if it is Mattel. Um, and I, it's just awful. The colour on this is horrible. It's horrible. I just, I really don't like this at all. It really upsets me. It's a horrible colour. It just looks so cheap. Um, and like the toy belts, they're not that expensive anyway. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get them like second hand even cheaper. So I just, I don't know why this thing exists. Uh, but when it comes to the best toy belt, I might be pushing it a bit here. I don't know if you can class this as a toy belt. Um, I can tell you at the moment it sells for £80 here in the UK. Uh, that's more than double, uh, well over double what uh, all the other toy belts sell for. But this is a Jax Collector's title. Um, and as I said, it's £80. Maybe that's a bit too much, uh, but it's still, it's made out of plastic um, and it's not made out of leather or anything like that. So I'm not sure that you can call it a replica, uh, but it is very, very cool. It's, it's the best plastic belt I've ever seen. Other weird championship items include uh, rings that you can wear on your finger. You can actually get those right now from WWE Shop. Uh, they do watches. Again, you can buy them right now from WWE Shop. Uh, gummy sweets. We actually did a review of this on the channel. Uh, so an edible championship. Uh, they do belt buckles. Uh, I even found a waffle maker that will make waffles in the shape of the championship faceplate. How crazy is that? Awesome, guys. Let me know which one was your favourite in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.